what's up everyone dominated TX coming at ya as you can see I have my very first tier 4 white dragon so I have my highest standing with Empire and this is my first battle with the white dragon looks really tough right but you know the moral of the story here is Aviana, Abi, is very powerful. Let me just show you. This right here. Stand down. This game is like the closest thing to Heroes of Might and Magic. I said that in my last video. I absolutely love it. So my two companions, you get to have two maximum. Omoreal, Omerial, I should say, sorry. And I'll show you the next one in a minute. I mean, this game is so much fun. I, you know, preloaded, um, I mean, pre-ordered couple of very good games, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Forbidden West, as well as um, Gran Turismo 7, which I love both of them very much, but right now, because I got this game, started playing it, didn't know I would like it this much, but I absolutely love it. I cannot seem to stop playing it, and I am probably 70% of the way done. So I think I'm going to try to finish this in between playing. I think I'm going to spend the most of my time, to be honest with you, with Gran Turismo. I've already uploaded a few videos. The game is absolutely fantastic. Highly, highly recommend it if you don't have it. The game is beautiful, uh, but, but it's the gameplay, you know, I think you all know I love my uh, racing games, you know, pretty much by all the good ones that come out, but this one by far is the best video, uh, racing game I've ever played, and okay, so here's my very first attack with a flying unit very nice um, and, and you know you would think I, I'm a huge fan of Gran Turismo because I think it's the the best-selling game on French um, PlayStation of all time but I honestly really have not ever really played it I think I had it for PlayStation 3 I'm not even sure if it was Gran Turismo like a full game or was it one of those interludes um, I'm not really sure why but I'm glad I got the seventh one I love it and I'm gonna play it all the time <laughs> I'm gonna try to get uh, 26 miles of driven distance every every day if I can we'll see collect as many as I can the Aston Martin 177, only 77 in the world of the real game ever made. I think it goes for well over a million dollars. I just got it today. It's a beautiful game. I mean, it's a beautiful car. But enough of that. This right here is about how much I love this game. And my very first tier four unit. Aviana is fantastic. She has, you can see my armor, it's very specific, it's very beautiful, very detailed. It's a legendary. So I'm going to show you my uh, other companion here in a minute. I mean, this game, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's a beautiful game. The problem with uh, 
characters like uh, Elementalist is oftentimes his magic will also hit friendly and you don't want to do that. I've done that a few times as a sacrifice Victory or death. you know by killing enemies you do damage to your own unit but you don't kill them. Okay here we go. So here's my other companion, Corisanda. She's a priestess. She's very powerful. She's never died. I mean, a lot of my other characters die, but uh, her character has yet to die. She's very powerful. I've had her since the very first time I could get a companion, and she's not done me wrong. So here we go. I'm gonna go here. I love it. It's huge. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't take up more than one tile, but uh, it's fine. Look at that. So that's the physical attack. That showed you the threat of fire attack. So here's a normal priestess. Has the same spells as uh, Corisandre, but more, you know, Corisandre is more powerful, obviously. Whoa! Ah, this battle was almost over. I mean, you know, this game, it was 30 bucks at GameStop. It's the deluxe edition. If you want the physical copy. For some reason, PlayStation Store refuses to put it on sale for less than 30. So that's precisely why I decided to buy it from GameStop. But, you know, do you. Do whatever you think is best for yourself. See these things right here? They're on the tiles. Some are, you know, some help and some do not. So be careful if you walk through it, you will be inflicted with whatever the ailment or, you know, sometimes, like I said, it does help. So just be careful not to walk through the ones that have negative buff or debuff, if you will. See, like here, let's see, how much damage is it going to do? Not much, so it's not worth it to me. See how it avoids the negative tile? It also avoids the buff tiles too, so it's kind of strange. Holy Avenger is a very good character. Cory Sander has a very long reach. Spell right here. This should up. Oh, nope. Oh, yep, it did. Look at that. Very nice. And two hits. Hopefully, will be enough. One last one. Just like that, we win. Very nice. See? Her armor is legendary. Very nice. I don't have legendary helmet or uh, boots yet, but I mean, like I said, I love this game. I think it's fantastic. Highly recommend it. Peace out. Have a great weekend.